going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS and what we're going to be talking about today is the war that everybody was talking about last week. The war I'm talking about is the Dark Avengers versus Jayoff War that went down in the opening round of the playoffs and in the unique position I'm in or the unique opportunity that I have where I'm able to visit these clans, I was able to capture the three 11 v 11 triples that I'm gonna be sharing with, with you guys today and going over the attacks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, here's the first 11 v 11 triple that we are about to witness coming from DEHE from Jayoff taking on their number one. And this guy, even managed to six pack this war and first thing i wanted to say before we cover the attack is uh, i mean naturally when people hear that there are uh, three 11 v 11 triples in the exact same war i mean automatically people are just going to think that it's fishy jayoff's modding and all these things but that's why i'm really glad i got the opportunity to to come over and record these attacks because if you watch them i don't want to say that it's nothing special i mean these attacks are incredible but when you watch them they don't i mean they absolutely do not look modded at all i'm sure a lot of you guys watching this have seen what a modded attack looks like you know queen charging from one side of the base into the other triple jump you know queen charges and all these things but with the way the bases are laid out still i mean the update hasn't hit yet but in the current meta that we're in right now town hall 11s are not building their bases to defend a town hall 11 hit they're building their bases to defend their their anti-two setups uh you know farm setups if you will where they're building bases to defend a two-star attack from a town hall 10 with 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 the thing is you don't get a lot of opportunity in wars to get an 11 v 11 but remember with the 410 breakdown in premiere there's you know there's 10 town hall 10s they had 5 10 v 10 triples which was absolutely incredible and they went five for five on dips opening up the opportunity to allow something like an 11 v 11 and in this attack it was sui hero lalo he did bring bowlers uh, just starting off at 8 o'clock with the entry. Uh, just got amazing value from his heroes. And just started the Lalo from 9 o'clock going clockwise around the base. And the pathing, uh, as far as the air defenses, the pathing for the air defenses were opened up very, very nicely. You know, and even dropped that nice clone spell as they did end on the Inferno Tower right there. Just an inc incredible attack from Dehe or D-E-H-E uh, from Jayoff. And now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his second hit um, in this war. The second 11v11 triple using Sui Hero Lalo. All right, here's the second hit. Now he's going to be taking on number two, Lunchbox, uh, DA's fearless leader. Shout out to him. And again, doing the same thing, just setting up a funnel right here. Notice he drops those loons on, on that wizard tower with that haste, and they also get that cannon. And so just got tremendous value there. Really trying to open up uh, the pathing here, or uh, the funnel rather, for his heroes as he is going to be entering at 9 o'clock. Got really good value on that bowler bounce at about 10. Uh, Warren went ahead and sniped that mortar right there. Drops down his king. Uh, queen behind on the dsf and he did drop the wall breakers uh, to go ahead and pop that wall pops the king ability as well here comes the bowlers and he's going to be taking out not only the enemy queen the enemy cc also gets that air defense good warden ability as they were under that fire uh, from the inferno tower and they're even going to take that out as well. So just with the Warden ability and his heroes took out 25% of this base and just got amazing value. Starting down here at 6 o'clock, going to be going counterclockwise around the base, just dropping in these loons. And again, if you look at the pathing to the air defenses, it's not very tricky as far as having the loon pathing down you know, especially compared to a 10 v 10 Lalo. So uh, haste those loons in, followed it by the rage. They one shot that Inferno Tower, uh, take out that Wizard Tower. Here comes the other loons coming in at three o'clock. As they take out the mortar, they're going to be collapsing on that archer tower. From there, they take out the third air defense. Has a nice heal spell right there. And notice that the two expos on the upper right-hand side of the base were both on ground. So also opening up this uh, base 
exposing this base to an air attack, and DEH, he took advantage of it, uh, followed it by that haste, and you see his loons right here are trickling out, uh, has maybe eight or so left, all out of spells, does have a few minions left for cleanup, but does have enough loons uh, to take down these two archer towers, and the last defense to go down is going to be that mortar right up there at 12 o'clock. I think he ended with just a couple loons, uh, maybe only one right there, but he did bring enough cleanup, also has clean up from his pups so again looking at these attacks guys you tell me let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below what you guys think of these town hall 11 hits i think they're absolutely incredible let's go ahead and check out the third and final 11 v 11 triple of this war all right, here's the base right here. Now we have J Offs number one. We have uh, Mossy or Mousy going to be taking on DA's number four, Papa Dragon. And uh, although this is the bottom Town Hall 11 on the map, it is still a fully maxed defense Town Hall 11. Uh, the, the only difference why he's the number, uh, you know, the bottom town 11 is, is just the walls. So we're going to see incredible entry right here and a pretty simple entry. Uh, he's going to be funneling his troops in, uh, his heroes again, doing it with Sui here, Lalo bringing eight bowlers. He is going to be using one bowler, uh, just to set this funnel. And he's going to be dropping a baby dragon up at the camp at about two o'clock. So uh, just like in the previous attack, we just watched just using a couple troops to get the funnel set so get a nice bowler bounce taking out the elixir pump and the bowler bounce is hitting the dark barracks and the baby dragon went ahead and took out both of the army camps and went down right before it could get to the de drill so here he drops down his king uh queen behind followed up by the grand warden uh, is bringing six wall breakers to make sure he gets that wall pop right there at three o'clock uh, is bringing the rest of his seven bowlers in pops king ability followed up by a rage so not only are the heroes and the bowlers under rage but they also uh, were under the eternal tome ability from the grand warden so just got incredible value took out over 30 percent of the base and got an air defense and got the inferno tower and got the enemy queen and the CC troops. So just incredible value. Starting Lalo at six o'clock going clockwise around the base, drops the three haste down. There goes the fourth one, followed up by a rage, pushing all these loons into that air defense right there at about 10. And they're still under rage as they're going to be collapsing on the second and final inferno tower. Uh, they hit the wizard tower has a nice heal spell right there as both those expos at 12 o'clock are both on air and all defenses are down after that cannon goes down and even ends up swagging a haste spell so even had spell swag on this one so again let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of these attacks just the entries and how the bases are set up very open just completely wiped out that entire compartment over there at three o'clock amazing value amazing attacks from jay off this war bringing three 11 v 11 triples all right guys well that is going to do it for this video i hope you enjoyed the content not only taking a look at 11 v 11 triple but taking a look at three 11 v 11 triples and not only that all three coming from the very same war. Mad props and mad shout out to Jayoff, completely wrecking it, getting 89 out of the available 90 stars in their war against DA, who also played a very, very tough war. So shout out to all of them. And let me know, uh, I'm curious, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below of the attacks. I'm really curious to hear and to read what you guys have to say. And make sure you like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.